So right now we are joined by Mr. Amit, who is the CEO of Wari Energies. Wari Energies, for all of those who do not know, is one of the largest solar model manufacturers in India, and it has also its plan to start solar model manufacturing in United States also. So, Mr. Amit, thanks a lot for joining our conversation with Solar Energy. First question: What you are offering at REI 2024? Just behind, we can see you have launched 730 watt week of HJT module. I think this is India's highest watt week. That is correct. So um, that is the highlight. Uh, as we can see, it's a it's a very high efficiency module. It's based on HJT technology. And then um, behind, if you have gone and seen, we have actually showcased a flexible panel. It's flexible. It can be actually deployed in many areas, especially where you don't have straight roofs you know roofs are curved so there are many malls where the roofs are curved you can use it there you can use it where there are weight restrictions so because it's light and it doesn't need a huge structure to stay on it can be deployed where you have weight restrictions uh, from an efficiency perspective it is actually as good as any other uh, uh, modules that you can see so any solar module any rooftop consumer who wants to install without a solar structure can opt for this? Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, what are the other areas where you find the usage of flexible solar? So flexible solar can be used in mobility as well. Uh, and mobility in the, you know, we are talking about uh, uh, on buses, on military vehicles, um, all of these areas, uh, we can actually use it. So last year, uh, this year itself, MNRE reimposed ALMM. That was a demand a lot of solar model manufacturers have been making for the last few years. So after the imposition of ALM, what exactly changed for the solar model manufacturers in India? I think uh, it was an absolutely important decision. Uh, we had a, a, a phase where there was ALMM imposed and then it was taken back and then it is now back on. So uh, we are actually, as a, as a module manufacturer, thankful uh, that that has come back and now it's going to stay, right? And not only that, uh, Government of India has actually talked about ALMM for cells. Uh, that will come somewhere in 26, but it's a step in the right direction. These are non-tariff barriers which promote the possibility of manufacturing of these very important solar components in India. So what's your plan? Uh, a lot of solar model manufacturers are now on the expansion spree, even the solar cell makers. So what is your expansion plan now? Currently, what is your capacity and where do you want to take the capacity up to? Sure. So at this point in time, uh, we have a 13.4 gigawatts of solar capacity. 1.4 gigawatts is right here in in, uh, in the Greater Noida area, okay. uh, which is uh, indoor solar facility that we have. And uh, 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 we are also coming up with a 1.6 gigawatt uh, of facility in United States, uh, very close to Houston, in a place called Brookshire. So that uh, uh, you know that is uh, uh, going on at this point in time. We are also going to come out with a six gigawatt integrated facility from wafers through cells to modules uh, in Odisha. And that should be up and running in the next uh, one and a half to two years time. We're talking about Odisha, we have seen that you already have a solar model manufacturing plant in Gujarat. You also have in Greater Noida and now you're planning cell manufacturing from Odisha. So cell and, and uh, wafers and ingots, correct. So what exactly Odisha offers you, why you choose Odisha? So we are choosing Odisha because uh, uh, of two things. One is uh, a very favorable climate in terms of investment. Uh, there is a very healthy capital subsidy that we have, uh, that we have received, number one. Number two, a very good power tariff uh, from the government. Um, so two very important reasons why we wanted to have uh, 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 the module manufacturing, cell manufacturing and uh, Wafers and ingots manufacturing in Odisha. So any timeline you have fixed for starting the solar solar cell manufacturing? Yeah, so 5.4 gigawatts of cell manufacturing uh, in Chikli in, in, in Gujarat should be up and running very soon now, uh, definitely within this quarter. Uh, and the remainder is as a part of PLI, uh, which will take about one and a half uh, to two years. So what are the latest products that you have launched and you are very proud to? Recently? We, we, we talked about that, we talked about AJD. Well, uh, the thing that we did not talk about is hydrogen and hydrogen chain that we see there. So right there we have a, an electrolyzer. It's an alkaline uh, uh, technology-based electrolyzer, uh, which we are showcasing here. 
and we should be manufacturing uh, very very soon. So in the last few years, like especially last two years, the Chinese solar modules and solar cells prices had gone down drastically. So how it benefited the solar modules and solar cell makers in India? And do you think the trend is likely to continue in the next six months or one year? What would be the fate you see? So uh, at the module level, we have seen a substantial reduction in, in prices over the last six months' time. But if you see the last three months, it's actually tapering off now. So uh, we are not seeing the same level of, uh, of uh, 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 you know, of, of uh, reduction in prices. I think we are getting into a zone where uh, where the prices are actually going to see stability. Stability, looking towards stability. So recently, Longi and other wafer makers have increased their prices partially. So do you think this will impact the prices of solar cells and modules in India? Well, when the raw material prices change, uh, there will be consequent changes in uh, in overall costs of input. And it is up to us to determine, based on the kind of uh, margin expectations that we have, whether we want to uh, increase the prices or absorb it. It really depends on the quantum of change. In the last, in the last five years, we have seen a lot of pro-solar policies from the government. There was reimposition of LMM. There is PLI. There is introduction of a basic custom duty towards uh, solar glass also. So do you think despite all these things, there are other things also that the government needs to do? What, what will be your demand, solar model makers, sellers demand from the government? So, uh, so from our perspective, the policy framework that we have in India is really, really very good. Uh, we are very happy with the tariff and non-tariff barriers that have been imposed. Um, what the only small little thing that we could potentially do is uh, tweak the timeline for ALMM for cells. The sooner the better is all we can say. So uh, currently the capacity of solar modules in it is around 54, 56 according to ALMM. Uh, so what do you expect by the end of this year, what could be the module manufacturing capacity of India, where it could take up to? I think it could be, uh, you know, it could go up by another 5, 6 gigawatts by the end of the year. Another 5, 6 gigawatts? Mm. By the end of the year, yeah. Thanks a lot, sir, for talking to Sod Energy Magazine. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.